Hello everyone. In this video we will control two JVL servo motors, using daisy chain connection by our function block, in speed or position control mode via Profi netline. Yo should connect the TTL to serial cable to the second servo motor to set the parameters. First we give a proper IP number to the second servo motor which is connected by daisy chain. Previously we set the IP address of PLC 5.7 and the first servo motor 5.3 and 5.150 for gateway. Attention to only the fourth digit number should be different in the same bus line. We give 5.10 for the second servo and 5.160 for its gateway address. Click, apply and save button to send the IP numbers to the servo. If it is done correctly we should see it in the blue marked area. To use our function block, the data should be like on the screen. Click, apply and save button. That's all for McDalk side. Now let's set the parameters for the second servo motor in TIA portal. In the previous video we communicate the servo motor by our function block. Now we will add the second motor's function block on this. In catalog section we will search the GSD file that we imported to TIA portal before. And we drag and drop the motor icon into the network window. We connect the second servo to the bus line as it is seen. So we match the physical cable connection to the software. We change the device name of the second servo motor as Maco EPX2. You can change the names of the motors as you want. We add the input and output address of the second servo motor by drag and drop. Now we assign name of the second servo motor, otherwise it will not communicate. Click on, only show devices of the same type. After that click on, update button. We select the second servo motor and click, assign name button.
Now we can see the updated device name of the second servo motor. In this section we cannot change the first servo motor's parameters. We can also change the first motor's profinet device name. It is seen that, in status section it is OK. After we set the parameters, we download hardware settings to PLC. Green lights mean, the hardware communication is done. Because of the offline and online differences, we download the software. So orange marks will be green. We add a second function block into the network too. We enter the addresses of the second function block, due to the second servo motor's input and output addresses in device view, we can see and change the second servo motor's input and output addresses. M2, refers the second servo motor. If you want to add the third servo motor, just drag and drop the function block to following network. Now let's stop both of the servo. For this we enter 0 to write word 1. We repeat it for the second servo motor. There should be a match for TIA Portal and Mirtok software parameters. Both of the servos are passive. Let's activate the first servo and run in speed control mode. So we enter 1 to write word 1.
Now let's run the first servo at 10 RPM speed. You can change all the motor parameters by this function block. Now run the second servo, in a different mode and speed. We enter 2500 RPM. To select position control mode for the second servo, we enter 2 to operating address. Because of the requested position value is 0, the second servo motor runs to that position at the specified speed. That is so easy to control JVL servo motors and achieving a profi net communication. See you next video.